excuse me, uh, I think you dropped this. You, um, you left the auditorium kind of fast, and, uh, your purse fell out of your bag, I guess. You must have been in a hurry. What happened? Jeez. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. They what? That's terrible. I... I'm so sorry. It must have been awful for you. I, I, I heard they were going to vote you prom queen too. God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the tears? Oh, <laughs> don't, don't worry. I just, <laughs> I just, I just care a lot and I have difficulty hiding my emotions sometimes. Sorry. What am I doing out here? Oh, uh, oh, you know, just, just stargazing. You like stars, right? I mean, who doesn't? They're so beautiful. The constellations they create with each other, the canvas they make up as they carpet the night. Look at me getting all poetic. <laughs> also, prom gets kind of loud and full of idiots who just don't seem to shut up about how things will never be the same and, oh, how I'll miss these days. Like their whole life is seemingly about to collapse into a sinkhole of debt and drinking and despair. I guess for most of them it's the truth. <laughs> That's a comforting thought, actually. Hey, it's, um, it's kind of late, right? You want me to walk you home? You don't live far, do you? Oh, relax, silly. I'm not a scary monster or anything. To you. I should be the farthest thing from it. You remember me from English class, right? I know, I know, I just kind of sit at the back and stare out the window, but I do pay attention to the important bits. Like tonight. Honestly, I was a little shocked with who you arrived at the dance with. I thought that group despised you. I guess you didn't get the memo till they covered you in fruit punch and laughed you out the door, hey? But to be honest, I... I was kind of hoping you'd leave. Because now I have you all to myself. Nobody to get in the way now. Because now I can finally talk to you alone! My precious little prom queen. I know to you I'm nobody, but to me you're my entire world! Ever since you sat down two rows in front of me, I've been enthralled by you. Your kindness, your confidence, how you can enter a room and immediately brighten the whole place with that smile. That smile, that smile, it makes the whole world brighten up, actually. I think about it. I think about you. I think about you constantly, where you sit, what you're wearing, what you smell like, what your hair's like that day, who you're talking to, and why it's not me. <laughs> you're like a parasite, a parasite that I can't seem to get out of my head. Not that I think you're a parasite, no, 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 you're more like an angel, especially tonight in the dress like that. Oh my, it makes my head spin a little. <laughs> I even dreamed about asking you to prom! Well, it was more like begging, so that's why I never did it. I didn't want to come across as desperate or anything. I had you up against a wall, finally touching you, feeling you for the very first time! I even spoke French, and, and that's why I knew it was a dream, because, because I hate French, and I hated myself because I knew it wasn't real! I don't know why I'm going off on such a tangent, but finally... Finally, this is real. You're real. I'm real. And now we can finally be together forever, forever and ever. <laughs> and your boys? Oh, I have something special in store for them very soon. Just you wait. In fact, why wait? Let me prove my devotion to you. Let's wait for them after prom. We'll talk to them and, and distract them so they're the last to leave. And make sure nobody else can disturb us and then... <laughs> then the fun can begin. <laughs> well, I don't do it for just anyone. I oh, don't look so worried. Are you worried? Don't be. I just... I just care about you as all. 
You're special to me. But you get it, right? All those freaks who seem to step on anyone and everyone who just so much as glances at them. It's about time they get a taste of how it feels to be the one who's hurt. And I don't mean figuratively. Don't you like my idea? Why are you backing up? Don't be afraid, that's stupid. I'm the last person you should be afraid of. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not letting you get away this time. I... I finally have a chance to be with you, and you're not gonna throw it away. I won't let you! <laughs> I'm doing this out of love, my dear. I'm doing this for you. So stop struggling. Stop it. Calm down. They made you cry and run away after all. Your big night was ruined by them. I guess... I guess I'll have to bring you home with me. You wanna come home with me, right? This bad! How could I be dangerous towards you? I'm utterly addicted to you! <coughs> hey, if you keep struggling, this will only last longer. My grip will only get stronger. Be all right in the morning. You'll see. I'll save you. I'll save you. Shh. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ah, welcome back, my love. Did you have a good dream? I bet I was in it. Was I in it? I was, wasn't I? Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? Welcome home. Well, it's my home, but you'll come to see it as yours eventually. Well, anyway, I have something for you. Someone. This one here hasn't been very good, has she? Who the fuck are you? Where am I? I brought her here because, well, I thought you two deserved a little heart to heart. And also, she's my prom gift to you. Do people still do that? Give gifts for prom? If they don't, consider me the first to make it a tradition. Now, as I recall, she's your prom date, isn't she? I also recall that she's the one who threw fruit punch all over that pretty little dress of yours. How could she? I thought she was your friend. But I guess... I'm the only true companion you have now. I'm all that you'll ever need. And she? Well, she's just getting in the way. She couldn't stand you hogging the spotlight. Oh, the rage and jealousy she must have felt when you got voted prom queen. It must have been building up inside like a fucking volcano. What? It was an accident! Tell him! <laughs> Lying through your teeth, are we? Such a shame those might be the last words that come out of that mouth while it's still pretty. I think I'll start with pulling your teeth, or crushing them while they're still inside, splintering them against your flesh. Maybe I'll cut off a finger, or remove a tongue, or break your legs so you won't ever be able to follow her again. Oh, maybe! Maybe I'll slice your eyes open. You can't be jealous anymore if you can't see. Please, no. Please, no. I'm sorry. Please. Hey, darling. Wait in here. What should I start with? It's your gift, after all. What parts of her should I cut off first? The fingers, the toes, the ears? It's all up to you. I know whichever you'll pick is the best possible choice. Please. Please, no. Please, no. Please, please. None? That's ridiculous. Oh, my love, you're not thinking clearly. She deserves it. She hurt you. She made you suffer. Now it's her time to have the favor return. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you talking to her? What are you looking at my angel for? She can't help you. 
And why would she? You have no right to even think about her. That's my privilege. Are you thinking about her right now? You are, aren't you? You think by pleading with those big, innocent eyes, she'll come to your rescue? Do you like her? Are you in love with her? <laughs> what a joke! You honestly think that you hold a candle to her? Her beauty transcends the very definition of the word. Her kindness is immeasurable. To give a guy like me a chance to keep the demons like you away from her is a gift that not even God himself has the power to bestow. And what makes you think she'll even like you back? Look at you. You're a mess. You're pathetic. An insignificant little worm that's been left to rot in the sun, whose existence will amount to nothing more than a meal of damp crimson and snapped ivory. Left to feed the rats and maggots in a hole so dark it bends the light. <laughs> and if you think you have even an iota of a hope of escaping this... Oh... You really ought to have paid more attention. Hmm? Are you trying to say something? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I... <laughs> I just... <laughs> She deserved it! She hurt you! And now she'll never be able to hurt you! Or anyone ever again! <laughs> Why are you crying? You haven't done a thing wrong. What's wrong? Why are you crying? You're too emotional. You haven't done a thing wrong. I haven't done a thing wrong. Calm down. Shh, that's it. It's all over now. <laughs> Relax. No one will find her. I have ways of making people disappear. Here. I have some tissue. Let me wipe away those tears for you, okay, my darling? I'm sorry for tying you up earlier. I know it was a lot, but I know what's best for you. Just remember that. I wanted you to experience everything. The full gift that I have to offer first before doing anything rash. Is it okay if I keep this? I don't want to waste a single drop of you. I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you. I'll protect you from all those bastards and, and demons who think they can take you away from me. They won't take you away from me. They laughed at you, remember? Don't worry, I'll find the rest of them for you. I'll make their minds screech with thoughts of death so they'll never even acknowledge you ever again. <laughs> You'll be invisible to everyone but me. I'll watch over you. You may not always see me, but I'll always find you. If anyone talks to you, I'll sew their mouths shut. If anyone looks at you, I'll grind their eyes into paste. And if anyone tries to steal you... Cut off pieces of them <laughs> and, and make them swallow their own body. <laughs> oh, baby, don't look so dramatic. Don't look that way. Don't be that way. Your eyes look so ugly when they're sobbing. Are you stressed? You must be hungry. My dad always said, you're a pain when your stomach's in pain. <laughs> How about... Here's an idea. How about I cook you dinner? Would you like that? I know you would. Come on, say it. Say you'd like that. <laughs> I knew you'd agree. Let me go get some candles. Here, I'll untie you. I knew you'd come to your senses eventually. 
Now sit tight. I'll be right back. I'll cook you something delicious, I promise. Oh, maybe I can dress up well with this thing kind of delicious. How degrading. <laughs> but I'll be right back, baby. And remember, I'll always watch over you. I'll always protect you. I'll always keep you safe. You'll see. You'll like that, won't you? You'll like it, I promise. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be right back. 